back everybody. A short little fun video here at Bluegill Electronics today. Working on this single-ended 807 amplifier and um, realized, you know, I need some bus fire. And you're going to want uh, straight nice pieces like this, but yet, um, I mean, most people use uh, standard house wiring, uh, the Romex type like this. You get it at Lowe's or whatnot, but, but did you notice this stuff kind of comes coiled up? So even when you kind of get it out of the way and cut you off a piece, you know, you still got this, which is nice and curved, and let's uh, let's go about stripping that real quick. It's a matter of, uh, you know, just taking you a nice razor knife down the, down the end of this stuff, and then this stuff strips really easy um, at that point. And anything you do here, even the act of stripping it like that, you end up with little bends in it. And you can kind of take apart then the, uh, the paper sheath here. And you've got your your bus wire, but your bus wire is not straight at this point. As you can see here, it's uh, <laughs> nice and curved. And if you try to straighten it yourself, you know, with your hands, you know, you can kind of get it there sometimes, but it's still not what you're after. It's not a straight, hard, flat piece of wire. It's got some bend to it, no matter kind of how much time you spend trying to bend it. Um, as you can see, it's just, just hard to get straight. So, there's kind of two ways to go about this that I've seen done. And we're going to show you both of them here. Um, one I like a little more than the other. So the first one is, you would take a piece of wood, and I've just got a standard old 2x4 here. And you kind of drill a hole in it, uh, just barely bigger than the, um, than the wire you're trying to strip. So I ended up with this, which is a a 3 seconds inch bit here and I drilled down through here and it's a tight little fit and then at that point you can see here your wire would fit through this thing very very tightly at that point um, going through both sides and then you're going to need just a standard drill and I happen to use just a, um, a Bosch drill here but you're going to want to take and connect one end of your You're just going to want to tighten the chuck down on it ever so little bit here till you get it. There we go. And you got to be careful because you, you can go fast with this stuff and this stuff will sling everywhere. Kind of get your drill bit set up like that at this point. You stick that wire through there and you give it a little bit of a bend to it here. And you have to go slow because that wire will start um, really swinging on the other side. But as you go, you can see here what we're pulling out the other side it's pretty darn uh, tight and you can't go any faster than that or this wire will get to stripping all around you gotta kind of keep it going slow like I'm doing pull this thing through ever so gently as you go and you gotta keep a downward angle on it because you're kind of bending it as you're bringing it through and the act of kind of turning it here as you're doing this. Alright. And let's kind of unhook the end here. And as you can see now, oh, we have a much, much straighter piece of wire here on the bench. Now one end down here where we put it in the chucks, not always perfect, and typically the other end that comes out way down on the other end here typically have a little bit of bend to it but in general it's a pretty straight wire uh, let's go about doing the other way now okay as you can see i got two pieces of wire here that are not very straight um, and we're going to straighten both of those and we're just going to clamp onto a uh, regular old vise here so we're going to put one end of this into the vise and i would say go about a half an inch or so and clamp it down really good and tight so it's not going anywhere excuse all the mess in the shop here but then all you do is get the wire in the other end here of your drill bit so both ends are locked down as hard as can be and then you start twisting the wire and you kind of go don't go too fast but you'll tell when this thing kind of it starts spinning twisting it and it'll kind of work its way all the way down and you can tell when this thing gets nice and tight I think that's Whoops. Look at that. 
beautiful straight wire and the fact that it's twisted even makes it stiffer so it's it's about 10 times stiffer now to even bend than it was when it was in its raw form like this so um, and if you feel it you can feel a little bit of twist on the wire but boy is it solid and straight so by far my favorite way and this thing's pretty darn solid at this point thanks for watching everybody we're going to go get this put into a tube amplifier as our uh, as our bus wire now yeah, as you can see now, beautiful straight wire for our bus. We've got to figure out where we're going to mount this in here. Uh, but perfect for bus ground inside of a tube amplifier. Hope you learned something.